Hi, today I am making pear overnight oats. Um, overnight oats are just so simple and easy to make the night before or make three ahead, you know, keep them in the refrigerator in the morning, grab and go. I like to warm mine up in the morning. I stick the jar in the dehydrator at 115 degrees um, for about an hour before I eat it and it's nice and warm, but you can eat it cold right out of the refrigerator too. So I like to make mine in pint mason jars or old peanut butter jars. Those work as well. And I like to put the fruit on the bottom. So I'm starting with an, a pear, start to say an apple, a pear. I'm going to cut it. See, can you see where I'm cutting it? Not down the middle, but over on the side so that I miss the seeds. See, I cut it and I didn't hit the seeds. I'm gonna chop it into bite-sized pieces and put half in one jar and half in the other jar. There we go. Can you see? I didn't angle my com my uh, computer right. Chop it into bite-sized pieces. And put half in one jar and half in the other jar. Maybe you can see my jars. All right, there we go. Pears are very high in fiber and vitamin C. So there we go. So next I'm going to add my oats. Now, when you buy oats, buy organic. Always buy organic oats. Oats are a grain and they are sprayed to dry quickly for harvesting. If they're not dried quickly, they may be damp and it clogs up machinery and then the farmers have to stop or harvesters have to stop, clean the machinery, get it all ready to go again and then start harvesting again. So they want them to dry completely, so they spray it. If you buy organic, it's not going to be sprayed. So make sure you buy organic anytime you buy oats or grains. Now, if you are gluten-free, oats are naturally gluten-free, but they are harvested using the same machinery that is used to harvest other grains, put on the same conveyor belts and put in the same trucks. So if it's not certified gluten-free, it has been put in those trucks on those conveyor belts in those same machines as other grains and it is most likely contaminated. Anytime they test them, they come back with gluten. Even though oats are naturally gluten-free, it's just cross-contamination. So I buy certified organic gluten-free oats. Now these are old-fashioned rolled oats. Can you see that? And these are oat groats that I sprouted. So see if you can see the difference here. So oat groats, they look a lot like barley. Um, they have this, they look just like a seed. They're long, they're oblong, and they have a little slit in them. And so I soak them overnight and then I dry them or put them in my freezer. Th these I actually um, soaked overnight and then stuck in the freezer so that I can just add them to my jars. So I'm going to put a half a cup of sprouted oats. This is right out of my freezer. They are frozen into my jar. Another half a cup into my other jar. They kind of thawed, so they're sticking to my measuring cup. But they're chewy. They're nice and chewy. Um, because they're already sprouted, they're not going to soak up much liquid, so I don't need to put a lot of liquid in there. Um, the next thing I'm going to add is chia seeds. So oats are fabulous for your intestinal health, as long as they're organic and haven't been sprayed. And so they're very high in B vitamins. And like I said, they're mucilaginous. They coat the um, gut lining. They're also high in beta glucans, which feeds um, the really good bacteria in your intestines as well. I'm going to add a tablespoon of chia seeds. Chia seeds are very high in omega-6 and omega-3 um, fatty acids. And so they're very anti-inflammatory. And so I love to have um, chia seeds in with my oats. So right now I have the pears, a half a cup of oats, a tablespoon of chia seeds. I'm going to sprinkle on some cinnamon. I'm going to add a tablespoon of almond butter. You could use a sun butter if you're nut free. Just a tablespoon. That would give me a nice, it's just a nice creamy flavor. It's a nice little surprise when you're eating 
um, the oats. And then I'm going to top it with a quarter cup of water. Now, if they were not sprouted, I would put a lot more water. If it was the rolled oats, I would put a lot more water as well. Now I'm going to cap them. Oops, I forgot the metal part. Well, that was a neat trick. Cap them. And I can put them in the refrigerator just like this. Or I can top them with some mixed berries. Berries are fabulous to eat every day, very high in vitamin C um, and antioxidants. So I'll probably top them with berries and stick them in the refrigerator and then I'll show you a picture of what they look like in the morning. Let me know if you make these oats and like and subscribe to my channel.